uh, during the course of the day, I logged in from the first moment and I um, listened to everything that everyone said and I wrote a rap. I wrote an original rap song over the course of the past three hours uh, that did not exist three hours ago. And what it does is integrate the names and themes and content of all of the speakers that we had uh, sharing their information with us today. Um, I call this concept a wrap up, of course. It's a wrap up summary of the information that we got. And, um, you know, I hope, I hope uh, you guys all connect with this because basically this is a song that I will never perform again because it will never be relevant to anyone except for the people that are listening right now. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, see? DJ iPhone in the house. Yeah. It's the Google Quantum Symposium rap. You know that. Yeah. Every story has a beginning. A big bang, every conference should begin with some poetical slang. Every algorithm has an origin, deep in lore. Sometimes the legends walk among us like Peter Shore. Every quantum speed up, yeah, it awaits your discovery. Whether it's expressed in a decision or in a money tree. Quantum happens every picosecond, every hour. So the race is on to just harness this power. Every story has a start, a beginning, an inception at the Google quantum conference it all started with the question like is emmy in the chat no okay i could fall back everyone shout out your home city in the comments hopefully she calls back ryan babish handled the host status with flames plus i've never seen such a tight bookshelf and plant game like Abby said there's a beginning to every story and if you people have questions you can talk to the dory all right in the beginning, we began with Emmy Mamu setting the mood with an overview of how much our tech has improved from the time of Pandora, from Hephaestus and Zeus, from the Flint tools to Pandora radio delivering coons with the seeds of destruction in the box cracks appear like an episode of Black Mirror. Quantum effects are weird. We hold the different superpositions up in our palm like Einstein commiserating, regretting the bomb, confessing to Pandora like yeah that was just bad i can't believe we actually made that in the national lab funded by the science wing of the department of energy but paul debar presented those institutions more optimistically he was like, yeah, yeah, we got that National Quantum Act passed. I was chilling yesterday with my Nobel fam at Fermi Labs. Me and my people dropped the next 60% on QIS grants. And we're killing it. We purchase and invest. Like Philip Hawk said in his talk, high energy physics and lattice gauge theories of quantum superpositions simulated in a digital particle accelerator. And I could explain that math, but forget it. I'll tell you later. I the did back. The DOE is killing it with the funding. If only we could do it with a bunch of quantum money. Those algorithms are getting better and better. You can count on it, but you need Peter Shore if you want to prevent a counterfeit. It's all about that lattice crystography. Can you hear them? Counterfeiters are no match for that quantum. No cloning theorem. I followed every bit of his talk, plus all the questions, the set of integer combinations with n vectors and n dimensions, the super position of a Gaussian ball. I can fold it in rhyme, the lattice vectors running in quantum polynomial time, and the questions in the dory were worthy of his epic story. Not about algorithm categories, just one of his dormies, like Peter Shore, tell me what you did be before. Where did you sleep before? I want some Peter Shore energy to absorb. Peter Shore, what side of the dorm room did you live in? He was like, I can't remember. Was it a bunk bed, a superposition? That's what happens when you see information from Peter Shore. His memory loss of pointless trivia makes it informationally secure. It's a quantum key distribution of dorm keys because we lose lots. We need Shelby Kimmel with an algorithmical toolbox. If you need to figure the speed up of an equation and work it, just map it onto conductors on an electrical circuit or connect with Eric Osby on that QSS. If you're a startup that's trying to get a bunch of early access or a student or a president, it's 
all industry worthy just don't forget to submit those applications by september 30 don't wait till the last minute y'all no vacillation just map your basic goals onto an exponential matrix like andras gil yenna caldex said give us the basics for delivering a quantum singular value transformation this is just rap music baby it's all just wordplay it's an exponential in the dimensions of hilbert space block encoded in my brain this quantum jargon is killing me plus it's quadratic in the square root of a probability all i'm trying to do is calculate the lyrical impact how many quantum computers do we need to calculate this rap while keeping the flow the syntax and the humor intact you want to know how many get lin lin to go figure the lin pack climbing mount everest of quantum advantage is tough and he called it lin pack because two lins wasn't enough so lin lin cut me in computer synthesizing raps that's way more scientific than identifying cats that's an application i can handle burn like a candle vanilla ice rock in the mic just like a quantum vandal it's something no linear algorithm can handle you need hhl to process it ask rolando selma with the polynomial cold flow and the attitude adiabatic evolution amplifications of amplitude now we just got to apply that to our brains to take quantum into the post nist eigenstates and scale up and on a linear scale that's not enough quantum bits tend to fail so grab that dragon by its tail but that's a challenge for the hardware and the physics team only you can help hartmut realize his scientific dreams google is open for business just tell them the tech that you want you can get served at google unlike at a local restaurant you can fly to europe you can't fly to europe or australia on quantus but you can help quantum in fulfilling its promise you you developers you people that are just learning for the first time you watching this on some laptop in a village that barely just got electricity you can help quantum in fulfilling its promise because every story has a beginning a big bang every conference should begin with some political slang i mean poetical slang it's not quite the same thing but i hope that one day me and evie can hang <laughs> Every algorithm has an origin in deep lore and sometimes the legends really walk among us Peter Shore every quantum speed up it awaits your discovery whether it's expressed in a decision tree or in a money tree cuz quantum happens every picosecond of every hour so the race is on worldwide to harness its power gentlemen ladies every other category start your engines Thank you. Wow, thank you, Baba. That was that that was incredible. And that's a, a wrap for a live stream as well.